Linda, now to the latest in the mass shooting on Detroit's east side that we've been following since early this morning. Five people were injured, one killed, and tonight we can report there's now been one arrest. This all unfolding overnight at the Chalmers Banquet Hall on Chalmers Street. It's been a violent year for mass shootings in Michigan. GunViolenceArchive.org tracks shootings all across the nation, and so far this year, listen to this, there have been 14 mass shootings right here in our state. Those are defined as shootings involving four or more victims. Last year alone, there were 21. 7 Action News reporter Kim Craig joins us live tonight. And Kim, Detroit's interim police chief just held an update on this case and what's going on. Yes, but right now they're not releasing any motive. If they do know right now, all they're saying is that this stems from a dispute at another location that ended here at this banquet hall right outside where six people were shot between the ages of 26 and 46. I've never seen nobody pass away in front of me. Lori Hall, a food vendor, was outside the Chalmers Banquet Hall last night for what's called Mellow Mondays. But whatever peace there may have been was shattered around 2 a.m. when Detroit police say someone opened fire outside the banquet hall, where about 100 people were starting to leave. Lori Hall was serving a sausage to a man in a wheelchair when she saw and heard what sounded like firecrackers. I couldn't see anything, and the only thing I could focus on was him because he was down. I couldn't see nothing up because it was like, doo, 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 doo. I don't know nothing because I'm the DJ. I'm inside the building. But I'm going to say it one more time. Thank whoever closed this steel door that saved this 80 plus myself from all the shooting. And I'm like, okay, let's go because they sound too much like gunshots. But I start seeing everybody drop to the floor and they like bodies, bodies, bodies. Six people were shot, including the man in the wheelchair. His family tells me he was paralyzed from a shooting years ago, and he never let it stop him from living his life to the fullest. This man who hardly comes out, and he's very known because a lot of people find it funny. This man ballrooms in his wheelchair, like, these are my legs, and, you know, and everybody get out there with him, and he's gone now. And, and it's senseless, I, you know, you make this make sense to me. He's a wheelchair dancer, a, a real humble wheelchair dancer. Uh, you know, he was just coming outside. He had just literally came outside for a sausage. Detroit police say while someone opened fire on the crowd, they believe the shooter had a target. At least one person fired back and police say they're still trying to determine who was that initial target. They believe it stems from an earlier dispute at another location. We believe uh, that this is a known suspect. This was a, uh, in a target. Uh, victim, a targeted victim, uh, so the community is not at risk. Uh, this was some type of conflict between the two parties involved. I'm not going out no more. I'm not, I can't do this. I have a kid, and the only thing I can think about is that man was literally distance away from me. My cousin had literally just walked out the building. It could have been her. It could have been me. And Detroit police say there was another shooting here in 2015 where six people were also shot. And we're told in about an hour, officers will be joining the building and safety department here in shutting this place down because they say they have not had a license to operate since 2013. Reporting live on the city's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. A nice time turning into tragedy. Kim, thank you.